is still displaying correctly this time around. Oh, it is. Okay, good. Yeah. Main display doesn't turn off. So the time. hear nothing can you hear me at all yeah i can but you don't hear me i hear you bro you don't hear what i'm doing i can't hear what you're doing good do i want to hear what you're doing dude all right let me tell the students class is back in session what's up we got philip we got raiden we got sore all right i'm streaming let me share my screen here too Pull Nolan in. What's up, Nolan, bro? Yo. All right. Now let me um. Bum, 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 bum. Let me announce this to all the people. <laughs> Doctor Gold, you're fired. Short intermission. Technical technical difficulties. Short yeah. intermission. All right, students. Uh, we are live. Fuck Windows. <laughs> all right. Cool. All right. What's up, guys? How's how how's your how'd your weekend go? You guys have some fun weekends? Terrible. Terrible, dude. What do you mean terrible? Why was your weekend terrible? Terrible. Terrible. Fuck Why was it terrible, Raiden, dude? You want you want to tell the Fuck class, window. dude? You want to tell the class? Fuck windows. Fuck windows. Yeah. Dude. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh, because like I was like mad and shit. You're supposed to be the example. <laughs> this cipher dog, chill out, bro. I, I'm allowed to get mad every once in a while. No, you're not. Dude, my, my PC just kept restarting, and then I got to figure out that it like it's literally the tablet. I, luckily, I have backup tablets, but like, yeah, I go into go into my system, whatever perfmon, and it's like, oh yeah, tablet driver keeps crashing. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. Dude. What's up, Mega Max? Flur Flipper's here. Flipper says first. What's up, dude? Okay, sweet. All right. Uh, oh yeah, Philip had a question, but he which one here? He had a question? I don't see it. Did he post it in office hours? Or Philip says he has a question now, I guess, is what he says. He said he had a question. Okay. Hello, Beardman. Why is my name Beardman, dude? My name's not Beardman. <laughs> I'll take it. That's pretty that's pretty funny. All right, let's see. You know what's exciting? I had a, I had a lawyer call me today. What's up, Icy? You want to know what they called me about, Raiden? You want to know what the lawyer called me about? Sure. What uh, is it about? He was he was asking me about actual education, dude. He, he, he they wanted to know more information about what what's going on here. I was like, um, that's pretty dope. I can tell you, I can tell you all sorts of things, you know. Yes, a man gives children money. For money. <laughs> man gives. A man gives children. Uh, uh, and he gets, he picks to come to that's true, right? That's dope. <laughs> uh, what's that? Uh, okay, I need, dude. I'm out of like USB so ports on my on my. Is that real? Is that real? Let me think. Webcam, tablet, um, shit. Life. Life, right? That's another one. Life's ex life's a pain. Oh, that must go to that one then. Deep quotes on actual education. <sighs> um. Oh. What's up, Philip, dude? Oh, Sword's got a question. Okay, cool. All right. I would take screenshots. Thank you, Sword. Thank you, Sword, for posting something. I'm, I'm in the eighth class. grade. You got a little kid. Marhook, Marbook, what is Marbook, dude? What the fuck? What the fuck, you saying? What are you saying, fucking cipher dog? Oh, Mega Max made me hydrate. Thank you, Mega Max. I will hydrate. You're in your own house. No, Mega Max. The the lawyer the lawyer was was asking me for good reasons because they want to maybe work pro bono to like help me. Figure out all the, Damn, no. the legal stuff. Yo, yo, you want a law? I you, you need lawyers to do shit 
unfortunately in this world because did you win a lawsuit against someone no no i didn't get sued or anything no i'm i'm trying i'm trying to i'm trying to get the paperwork done so that this is like official and whatnot dead ass uh okay okay cool all right for those of you watching welcome to office hours this is a stream where we help you out with your math science homework all types of fun stuff and um Hi. You guys get rewards, earn fun stuff. I gave out, I think I gave out like two tier one rewards this weekend, or maybe three. I think we had uh, Aiden got his, so did Monkey, and some other guy. Uh, oh, and I gave out the prizes from the monthly tournament. I gave that, those out, although Mechanical still needs to get back with me about getting his. Uh, <laughs> Cypher, dude, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't care how old someone is, as long as they're responsible. Sora's responsible. I'll be home around 12 your time tomorrow, so if you want to play, I don't think I'm going to celebrate until... Oh, is it your birthday, dude? Is your birthday tomorrow initial? I think it is, right? It's pretty cool. All right, let's see. So, are you here? You want to go over one of your questions? Yes. So... When, what's Grim Reaper and Kidder doing? Chilling in VC One, dude. What are, they, what are they doing? I have no idea. I'm gonna drag their ass in, dude. Let me are check. Are they playing video games? Yeah, go check with them. Fortnite. Yeah, they're playing video games. Oh, okay, whatever. Well, they don't get channel points, so. <laughs> All right. Ooh, exponents. This is good. This is good, bro. I like this. Where? I don't. You don't like this? Why don't you like this, bro? I don't know. Because he's not a nerd. Now. What's up, Grim? We're playing video games right now. Oh. I got no homework to do. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Play video games if you want. That's fine. That's chill. That's chill. Oh, yeah. this game is retarded. I hate arenas. Well, I mean, I'm going back to VT1 now. All right. Okay? Cool. Cool. All right. Good to see you, Grim. We do not care. We do not care. I, need, I, still, I still need to get that sample. I found it. I found it, but I still need to get it. Um, You're welcome. Dude, that's awesome, Nishal, dude. It's your birthday tomorrow. That's fun, man. It's always always cool. Oh, happy early birthday. Happy happy early birthday to 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 initial bro. Um. Okay. Um. Sore. So are you here? You want to go over this? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. They're saying use the table below. This is the patterns of five, four, and three. Interesting that they're just doing the the powers of three, four, and five. Like, what about two? Two is pretty cool. Like, um. Okay, so here here's a little rule Man. sort. So what what does it mean when something says five to the one? Do you know what that means? Five to the one. Oh, you multiply by a million numbers, right? Well, yeah. So you multiply five by itself just once. So it's just five. It's just five, right? Yeah. F five to the two would be what? Twenty-five. Good, because that's five times five, right? You see how you multiply it by yourself twice? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So now here's a weird one you probably haven't seen before, but like this is five to the zero, right? So uh, zero. Yeah. What what does that mean to multiply it by yourself zero times? It's kind of weird, right? Get a decimal because you're lonely. <laughs> Get a decimal because you're lonely. That's a good one. Um. So actually, no, no, no. In fact, um. So anything to the zero power. This is something you should just remember. Uh, anything to the zero power is equal to one. Okay. Four. Just remember that. One. That's just a math thing. I actually yeah. don't know where that comes from, honestly. But, you know, if someone here in the chat wants to explain to me what where that comes from. Uh, Megamax, you don't need to get MT coins either, also. Uh, because uh, we're not doing the monthly tournament yet. Uh, the MT coins will, will work once I do registration, which happens after you guys pick which game you want to play. So we got voting today. Did you guys see the voting? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. 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 Everyone saw it. Okay, everyone saw it. And, it, and we'll, I think I know we have a winner here. Is it gonna be Warzone or Apex? Warzone. Most likely Warzone. Oh, Most likely Warzone. I actually so I actually emailed out to the Apex people uh, because apparently you need an admin code in order to um in order to host custom matches you have to have like an admin code. <laughs> so I asked them. I gave them a little brief description of what we're trying to do. We'll see if they give us give us an admin code. That'd be pretty cool, right? Uh, that kind of okay. sucks. All right. Anyways, okay. So, uh, Sor, what's four to the zero? One. One. Good. What's three to the zero? 
one. Everything's okay. going to be one. Anything to the zero power is one. Very good job. Good, good, good. Uh, Cipher, if you really want me to see it, you can, you can, you can message it to me first. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to put it for all the other kids to see. You know, if my mods are deleting your messages, there's a reason why. <laughs> Especially from Raiden. To see a freaking butt. Raiden's Raiden's one of the most trustworthy people I trust to to judge on that. Um. Okay. Cool. All right. So now we got negative exponents. Do you know what negative exponents do, Sor? Hmm. hmm? Negative. Like, what happens if I have, like, 5 to the negative 2? Do, do you know it's what that not, means? So, it would be a decimal because it's not 0, right? Uh, No, it's not, not that it's a decimal. It's not that it's a decimal, sore. So, anytime you have something to a negative exponent, what that means is they want you to... You, they want the reciprocal of this. Do you know what the reciprocal is? Divide? Kind of. It's kind of like dividing. All right. Let's say I have... Oh, I have let's say I have three, three halves, okay? And I want the reciprocal oh. of that. The reciprocal of any fraction means you flip the fraction. So instead of 3 over 2, the reciprocal of this would become what? Uh, so what would it become? One half. No. I don't know. What happens if I flip 3 over 2? What, if I, what happens if I flip it? Oh, it's 2 thirds. 2 thirds. Good. Good job, dude. Yes, exactly. That's what a reciprocal is, okay? All right, so here let's let's give you another another little question here. What if I have four thirds? What's the reciprocal of that? Three four. Good, very good. Okay, cool. All right, very good. Okay, cool. All right, so now we got to do something a little bit harder. Okay, let's say I have four and I want the reciprocal of that. Do you know what the reciprocal of four is? Uh, four zero. <laughs> no, 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 no. So you saw how it was easy, right, to flip flip fractions, right, to be able to figure out what. Yeah. A, okay. How can I write four as a fraction? Four over one. Thank you. Four over one. Do you see yeah. that, Sor? Do you see how four divided yeah, by one is the same thing know. as four? It's okay, man. Yeah. It's good to see, you, bro. So it'll be four. So okay. So if this is four over one, and I take the reciprocal, what's what's what what is that going to be? No, Bond. Good, good, very good. Yeah, Bond. No, it didn't make me upgrade. Uh, it didn't make me upgrade. But something's been doing. Something's been weird with one of my, like my Chinese tablets I use that like it was throwing device errors and it was like just fucking brick bricking my PC, dude. I don't know. Nolan Pitt, dude. Whoa, whoa, that's a sick emoji. Is that is that is that Santa Rick or something, dude? That's cool. Okay, Sor. One last one. What's the reciprocal of six? One six. Good. Very good. Okay, you're getting it now. All right, cool. All right, so this is what I wanted to teach you, Sor, okay? Anytime you have something raised to a negative exponent, that means do the reciprocal first, okay? So let's say, for instance, I have six. Well, let's say I have three halves to the negative one, okay? Negative means reciprocal, okay? So I want you to flip this first. So what's going to happen when I flip this? It's going to be a negative. So you have minus 1? No, 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 no. See, the minus up here, this this just means reciprocal. Anytime you see a minus sign um, at, at the top, that means that means reciprocal. So what's the reciprocal of 3 halves? You just did this. Negative 2 thirds. Okay, so close. It's going to be 2 thirds, but you don't have a negative. Oh. And it's just 2 thirds to the 1. Okay. Perpendicular if it's negative two thirds. Pardon? Wouldn't that make it perpendicular if it was like something? Correct. Yeah, you're right, Raiden. That has to do with slopes. Yeah. So with slopes, if something is is perpendicular to each other, that's the negative reciprocal is what it is. But you're you're one right. You're right on that opposite. one. You're right. Opposite. Don't buy tablets off of AliExpress, dude. I bought the tablet off of like, dude, dude. This tablet's been fine, Bond, for like the last like two years. I've used it. I don't know. Just started fucking up today. Two years. Oh, I'm back. What's up? What's up? What's up, Phil? All right, we're we're almost done with with source here. Okay. All right. So so then here here's the next thing I need you to know. So, okay, source. Let's say I have five to the negative two. Okay. What is that going to be? One five two. Good. So it's me one over five, all to the two. Okay. And yeah. do you see? And do you know about this? If you have if you have something to an exponent and it's a fraction that you can put the exponent on both things. 
So this is really one over mm -hmm. one to the two over five to the two. Do you know that? Do you know that yet? That's too much work. It's too much work. No, dude. If you have a fraction, right? Wait, what? If you have a fraction here, Soar, and it's being raised to an exponent, okay? That exponent hits both of the numbers. So it's one to the two over five to the two. Do you know what one to the two is? Two? No. So one no, to just one. Good, it's just one. Because that's just one times one, right? Do you see how it's times itself twice? Yeah. That's just one. So one squared, that's the same thing as just one. So you, now you have one over five squared, which is the same thing as one over 25. Okay? So you just took, you just carried the two to the top. G good, good. Yeah, well, no, it, on the bottom, but like... Because usually, us usually, Sor, what, 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 would, what would five squared be, usually? Oh, 25. 25, okay. Do you see how five to the negative two is one over 25? You see how these are kind of the same? So if it's negative, it's going to be like a fraction. Good. Well, it's going to be the reciprocal is what it's going to be. Do you see how okay. 25 and 1 over 25 are reciprocals of each other? You. Because this is really 1 over 5 squared is what it is. Okay, okay, I get it. Okay, so then what's 5 to the minus 1? That's going to be yeah. 1, 5, 1. 1 over 5, good. Yeah, to the oh, one. 1. over 5. To the 1. But to anything the one. to the 1 power, right, is just itself. So that's just one, 1 over 5. So what's so, four, what's four what's four to the minus one? One four good. to the power one or so the same? Just one fourth good, and then what's three to the minus one? The same thing. One third. Different numbers. Different numbers. Okay, okay. Let's get a little harder here. What's five to the minus two? One five two. One over five squared, right? Which is Four equal to two. what? Twenty five. One over one over twenty five, right? One over twenty five. Yeah. Do you see how there's a pattern between this one and this one? Do you see how 5 to the minus 2 and 5 to the positive 2 are very similar? Except this is 25 yeah. and this is 1 over 25. So yes. can you maybe use the same pattern for 4 to the minus 2? What's 4 to the minus 2 then? 1 and 16. 1 over 16, good. What's 3 to the minus 2? 1 and 9. Good. Awesome, dude. Nice. Great, great job, sore dude. Here, let me give you a little more. Where's, where's my... There we go. <laughs> All right, Sora, does that make more sense? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, awesome, Sora. Great question. I really appreciate that. That was a good one. I like exponents. Exponents are fun. I had the next question. You do? I think had the question. Well, but... well, did you post it? Because I don't see it. I think Nolan posted it first, dude. Posted. It's not a post-it one. Oh, it's not a post-it question. Okay. So Nolan was first. Well, no one's got, no one's got it posted. I said a, exactly a five. You did. So here, actually, I'll, I'll answer yours, and then I'll, I'll answer Nolan's. Okay, that's a good idea. It's quickly, too. Uh, here, let me add a bond coin for Soar. Good job, Soar. Okay, Philip, what's your question, dude? So in science, we're doing a heat lab an experiment, but this time we, we had the same amount of um, heat. Like a, we had a metal, Okay. and we heated it up in grams, and we had the same amount of grams in water. Okay. But then when we... Um, when we like put the two together, it didn't average out. It actually was significantly lower for the like the metal part, ah, the metal cube, than for just the than just for the grams the of water. water. So it wasn't the average. It was below. Like it had like cool. But do, do you know why that is? Like no, I, that's what I was trying to ask. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, so this has to do with um, MCAT, right? Okay, so mm -hmm. remember what Q? What is Q in in chemistry? What what what, what is Q? What does it mean, Q? Uh, Ooh, dude, May loves Zach making me hydrate all the time, dude. I'm gonna run out of water here, dude. I'm getting thirsty. Q. Q. Yeah, have you like, seen Q in chemistry? It means something. It starts with an H. H. Heat. Heat. It's like the amount of energy. <laughs> or... Heat. Yeah, heat is. Uh, is it energy? I don't know if it's really energy. Is heat energy? I don't remember. Um, yeah, heat is can be thought of as energy, I guess. Yeah, heat is... I guess heat is energy. You're right, heat is energy. You do measure this in joules, so sure. Yeah. Heat is what's used to, like, cool things down and heat things up, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, the equation we know uh, for two objects is that the Q in for an object has to equal the negative of the Q out. 
right? So whatever heat is lost by one object has to be gained by another object. That's like conservation yeah. of heat. In, in in a situation where no heat is lost, right? So this is why you guys use a bomb calorimeter, right? Because any heat between the two things, between the water and whatever the object is that you put in, they just transfer between each other. They don't they, they don't it doesn't get lost to the air or whatnot, right? Like this is your usually this is your cup, right? This is like water. And this is like a hot cube. Yeah, and then and then what we did was that we just shaked it and then we put the thermometer and whatever. Good. The yeah, 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 yeah. So what's happening, right? If this is hot, right? You're gonna have heat going to the water. And so and the water's gonna be absorbing the heat. Absorbing the heat. So it's technically giving off like negative heat, right? <laughs> it's like yeah. Um it's kind of the way to think of it. But yeah, there's a heat exchange between this, right? And that has to be the same, okay? So, um, do you know an equation for heat in terms of temperatures and masses and stuff? No. No? Have you ever seen this? To it. M, C, delta T. Have you seen this before? No, not yet. Okay. This is an important thing. It's called MCAT, I think is what it is. But what this tells you is that the heat of something, okay, the heat, is equal to the mass times what's called the specific heat mm -hmm. times the change in temperature. Change, yeah, the delta is change or whatever. Good. Okay. Right? Is that yes. what delta means? Like just yes. change? Change in temperature. Yeah, correct. Good, good, good. Okay. So um, some values for things. So C for water, I believe, is equal to 4.186. I think they say joules per Kelvin or joules per degree Celsius. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, Phil, don't just give the answer to Nolan, dude. <laughs> All right, what what metal what metal did you drop in there, Philip? We we just dropped the metal cube. It was nothing specific. Um. Okay. So what's it? What was it? It's probably made of steel, right? Oh yeah, it was steel, probably yeah. Look at the specific heat. It, of steel. it was forty three grams. We like scaled it, so then we put the same amount of. Right. Water specific heat of steel mass. is the fuck. Can I just like get a regular ass fucking number here? BTUs like calm down. What? Garbage ass units, dude. Steel is is that really right? 0. 0.5 joules. Yeah, cuz water is All right, steel is Let's do stainless steel. Let's assume it's stainless steel. 0. 0.5. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's say we have um, hot steel, right, going into, mm -hmm. I think it, it was like cooler water, right? Cool water? Yeah, it, it was just room time. Um, it was just, um, you know, and you have the same amount of mass of each one, right? It's like 50 grams of water, 50 yeah. grams of steel? So we did, we did, yeah, it was 43, 43. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So let, let's let's look at the equation, which is Q in has to equal negative Q out. Okay. Or li what I like to say of, is like Q of the water has to equal negative Q of the steel. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that means you're going to have mass of the water times the specific heat of water times the change in temperature of the water has to equal the mass of the steel times the specific heat of steel, times the change in the temperature of the steel, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the mass of these two things are the same, right? We said we have the same amount of water as we have um, steel, yeah. right? Yeah. So these are going to cancel, same, cancel, right? Yeah. Okay. So now I have CW, T, delta TW is, oh, and there's a minus here, sorry, uh, minus CS, delta TS, okay? Um, this is big, right? Yeah. And this is small. Okay? Because this is like 4.186, right? And this is, um, I think, 0.5, right? Mm -hmm. I need these two things to equal each other, though, right? So, if I have something big, I need it to be multiplied by something small to equal something small times something big. Okay? Yeah. So, do you see how the change in temperature of the water is going to be small? But the change in temperature of the steel is going to be, be big. big to even out. 
Good. Yeah, in order for the two to equal each other. Yeah, correct. Wait, what is this equation called? Is this like a specific name? Um, or like, is it the cat name? I just called M cat. I think it's Q equals M cat. It's uh, it's just uh, <laughs> Nolan. I love the emojis are funny. Um, yeah. So th I mean, that's why, right? So the water temperature is not going to move very much, but the steel temperature will, right? And because this is a negative, that tells you that the 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 change in the temperature is going to be opposite, right? So the water will gain a little bit of temperature, but the steel will lose a lot, right? Because of the minus sign. Yeah. Yeah, because delta T here is going to be negative, right? And delta T here is going to be positive. So that's where it all comes from. Um, this is also why water, for instance, is a, is, is a very good thing at cooling things down because it has a very big specific heat, okay? Um, specific heat can be thought of as like, well, even just look at the units. Do you see how the units of specific heat are joules per, cal joules, joules per Kelvin or like? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. But. Okay, joules per like degree Celsius. Okay. So what this tells you is that it takes 4.186. I think I think it's joules per degree Celsius times grams, I think is what it is. Actually, technically. Let me see. Is that what it is? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's grams on the bottom. Okay. So this is, like, this is actually a cool thing. So C of water, right, is equal to 4.186 joules over grams times degrees celsius okay so what this tells you is that it takes 4.186 joules to raise one gram of water one degree celsius is what that means so one joules uh to raise one gram of water one degree celsius okay As opposed to steel, what what was steel's specific heat? Point five. Point Wait, five. Wants... No, it's okay. You, you remember from last time it was like point five. Mm -hmm. So you see how steel requires a lot less energy to heat it up. Yeah. So what would you want to use to like cool things down? Like, if if what would you want to use as a heat sink? Water or steel? Water. Good. Exactly. Right. Because water it. takes a lot more heat, a lot more energy, a lot more heat in order to raise it its temperature. It Good, exactly. Yeah, and that that that's the whole. That's the reason why, for instance, if 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 you have water cooling in your computer, uh, you can overclock it higher and whatnot, right? It's because mm -hmm. you're using water, which has like eight times the specific heat of steel, right? Instead of just steel, which is your your GPU fan. And exactly the fan and the the fucking fins and shit. Um, yeah, that gets hotter a lot quicker, right? Because it it doesn't take very much energy, it doesn't take very much heat for the steel to raise in temperature. Whereas the water in a water cooling system takes eight times as much energy, eight times as much heat. So that's why you can really crank the shit out of a a, a water cooling system for overclocking. Yeah. Cool. Does that make yeah. does that make sense to you, that's... Philip? Yeah, better than my science teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Specific. Yay. Cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, no, no offense to your science teacher. She probably doesn't have much time to explain all that. But, like, you know. No, we have 80 minutes. Yeah, so, you know, that took us probably five, ten minutes. So she's probably like, ah, I don't got time for this shit. But, yeah, no, good good question, Philip. I like that. That's a good one. Um, And, of course, anyone else watching the stream, if, if you thought that was cool or if you want me to go over that again, please, like, smash some shit in the chat or something and just be like wait that was cool or like oh could you go over that again or if you have a related question you know that's the whole point of the office house here because I, I know there's gonna be a lot of you know we're gonna answer questions that maybe you guys aren't directly going over but my hope is that by seeing this stuff because you will for sure have to do this at some point in your academic life like in high school you have to take chemistry at some point so you will have to do this at some point uh and so it uh, it helps you to see it once at least, to see it first, to see it, you know, so you're familiar with it, you know. It's it's a lot easier to play, you know, uh, a round of Warzone, a round or something, if you've seen the map at least once, you know. You know where the contracts are, you know where the buy stations are, rather than just being dropped in on a new map, you're like, oh shit, I don't know where anything is here. So, cool. All right, Nolan, you got a question? You hear Nolan? 
Yeah. Nice, Nolan. Okay, cool. Let's let's throw yours on. What is the value of the figure below? This is kind of a cool one. I like this actually. This is a good one. Okay. So there's like two exterior angles. Good. There are two and exterior angles. I didn't know how to deal with it. <laughs> what I should do. Okay. All good. So this is kind of a this is kind of like a, a puzzle, right? Um cuz yes, there are two exterior angles. So what what you know, right? is that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior angles, the opposite in interior angles. I think that's what they call it, right? Yeah. Okay. So you have one of the opposite interior angles, but I would like this one. Do we know how to get this Minus one? Minus one. No, no, no. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Because, wait, you're, I, I think you're wrong. I think I think your answer is, 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 is wrong. Uh, I trying to throw on, bro. Philip? I know. I know. This is. This is. This is. What did you say, dude? Did you say forty, bro? Did you say forty, Philip? No. What did you say, dude? Or did you delete your answer so I can't see it now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So, uh, Nolan, y you agree if like if I could figure out this angle, then we're good, right? Because then you would have yeah. your two opposite uh, interior angles, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What's one way I can figure out what this angle is? Uh. I don't know, honestly. That's okay. So, do you see how this angle and this angle share a line? See how they, they all share this line? Wait, that angle would be 40, right? Good. Yes. Bingo. How do you know that? Yeah, how do you know it would be 40? Because the line's 180. Good. And then Very good. Those two. Good, right, right. This plus this have to add up to 180. That's that's perfectly right, Nolan. Cool. So then you that's can, what you have to see. Yeah, that's what you have to. So honestly, dude, a lot of geometry is like just seeing like that that one little thing. Um, Recognizing. But so knowing knowing that you can figure out what x is. What is x? Um. Pull up. Let me get my calculator. You're good. Uh, You're good. I want more pizza information. Well, he doesn't that need more information. Helpful. Does he need more information? I don't think he Maybe. does. Maybe. Does he? I need that last angle because I'm trying to. No, because isn't the it's, it's um. No, they're not. They're not. They're not congruent to each other. Congruent. They don't have to be congruent, do they? No. Uh, he's good. So is X one hundred five? Uh, isn't it the sum of these two angles? Wouldn't this be seventy five? No, no. It's not. No, that's not how it works. Is that not how it works? Uh, Wait, this is one hundred five, right? Yeah. One hundred five. This. It has to be one hundred five inside. This is 105 inside, right? Because this and this and this all have to add up to 180, so X is 75. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How come X is 75? Okay, okay. Because let, let's remember the rule here, Nolan, okay, right? If I have a triangle, let's say, like, whatever fucking triangle here, okay? And this is angle A. Let's call this angle uh, B. Let's call this angle C. Let's call this angle D, Okay. Do we agree that angle A is the ex exterior angle? Right? This angle here is the exterior yeah. angle of the triangle? Yeah. Okay. Then which ones are the opposite interior <laughs> angles? Uh, C and D. Good. Angle C and angle D. Okay. So what the theory or theorem or whatever thing you learn is that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the interior angles that are opposite. Okay? Mm -hmm. Not, wouldn't mean that they are all, wouldn't those lines mean that they're all congruent? Uh, oh, oh, yay, okay. Yes, yes, Masons, you're right. So technically how I drew that would mean that all the angles are the same, but um, let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> here, here, if we really want to do it, here, I'll put one there put three here and I'll put like I don't know four here. You're right. Masons, yes, us usually if if I have angle and I have angle, this usually means these are the same, but I'm I'm just using it to show like what the angle is, but you're right. Um So, yes. So, angle A here is equal to angle C plus angle D, okay? If you want to see why this is, this is actually kind of cool. So, here let's 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 do it again real quick. And this time I, Mason's, you're right. This time I will not. I will not put. <laughs> I will not put the. 
the the lines making them congruent. Okay, cool. Okay, so we know that B plus C plus D. What what do those angles all have to add up to? Uh, one eighty. Good, one hundred eighty 180. degrees. Right. Cool. Okay. What do A and B also have to add up to? These two. One eighty. One eighty. Oh. Good. Right. Do you see how? These two things now equal each other, right? Because they both equal 180? Yeah. Okay. So this is kind of like an algebra trick you can do, right? If this equals 180 and this equals 180, what can I say about this and this? Um, B plus C plus D equals A plus Good. B. Good. B plus C plus D. Exactly, dude. Equals A plus B, right? Okay. Now I see I can cancel the B, right? B, B, right? Because there's a plus B on each side. You see how now I have C plus D equals A, right? Yeah. So that's why that's that's the the proof of why, for instance, the opposite interior angles, the sum of them, right? C plus D equals the exterior angle A. Never knew that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I, again, your teacher will always tell you like memorize this, do this, but like I think it's always best for you to understand like where it comes from. You know, like intuitively, like why you'd want to believe that, you know, and so yeah. there's always a reason. Uh, sometimes it's complicated, so uh, they don't want to waste time. But I think this is a pretty simple thing to show people. So honestly, they should. Um, maybe I'll make a TikTok video about this one. That's kind of a fun one. Um, cool. Yeah. Do you have any other questions, Nolan? Uh, nah, I think that was the only one I had. Okay, cool, man. Good. Well, congrats. Oh Thank you for. I can't so uh, write anything. Nick. You can't write anything, Nick. What's what's wrong, Nick? What do you, mean you can't write anything. I can't text. You can't text. Oh, keyboard. I'm an idiot. Wait, give me a second. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hi. You're not an idiot, dude. I'm on PS5 somehow. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nick, you figured out how to use uh, Twitch with the PS5. Yeah. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, you go to media instead of games. Ah, yeah, I guess. I guess Twitch is not really a game. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured that out. Nice. Cool. Yo, what's going on with Instagram and Facebook? Um, they've been down all morning, actually. Apparently the domain doesn't work anymore, and somebody can buy the domain right now. No. You can literally buy Facebook. No, you can't. Right yeah, I saw something about that. It's the DNS. Wait, how do you DNS oh, claim anything on, on a PS5? How do you claim things? What do you mean claim things? Like, oh, like a, oh, channel points. My bond coins. Uh, I don't know. There, sh it should be next. Do you see where the chat is? Yeah. If you look like below where it says send message, uh, does it? No, it doesn't have anything. Like doesn't that. have anything I'll, for I'll points or something. Uh, I'll send a. All right, you send me a picture and I'll I'll, I'll look at it. But yeah, okay. To to answer your guys' question, um. Because you guys are probably wondering like why Facebook and Instagram are down right now, and yeah, it has to do with what's called the do the DNS. Um, do you guys know what DNS stands for? No clue. Domain. Domain. Name system. Ah, close. Domain. Name. Name. Server. Are you sure? Servers. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I learned it in my IT classes system. DNS. I send it in. Uh, domain. Oh, you're right. It is domain name system. Okay. All right. Fuck. Usually we say like DNS servers, but yeah. Okay. Domain name system servers. Okay. I. I. Okay. I. I see your picture, Nick. I'll. Ch I'll check it out. Domain name system. Okay. What do you, What do you guys think a domain name system is? <laughs> well, it's just a like. A name for the server that you um, that somebody's uh, uh, hosting, right? Okay. A domain is like a. Yeah. What's a domain? Yeah. What's a domain, guys? You guys know what a domain uh, is? <laughs> Something. Domain. Yeah. What's a domain? It's like. So like. So like you know how you type in like Facebook? Uh -huh. It's like the name, that, like. How do I explain it? Good. No, no, no. You're right. This is a domain name. What, That's what like this is. A, like a group or whatever? Yeah. No? No, this is a domain name. So, like, Facebook.com, that's a domain .com. name, right? This is this, oh. this is an address is what this is. So, when you type in www.facebook.com, it takes you to Facebook's servers, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in reality, uh, Facebook's servers are never just, like, one computer, right? 
Facebook servers oh, are hundreds, if not thousands, or now tens of thousands of computers. Right? Exactly. Good. So mostly located. Well, like they're located in different spots. They are. Well, they distribute them yeah, all over the like Amazon flipping all over the world. Yeah, Amazon has servers all over the world. Okay. So what happens is, um, every server has what we call um, a unique IP address, right? You guys have probably seen this before, right? Like it's like yeah, we all know one four one, you know, one four one point one six point blah blah, you know, like something like that, right? A series of numbers. Mm -hmm. So that's how um, you can specifically identify like where a computer is on the internet. Okay, every time you connect your phone, every time you connect your laptop, everything is assigned an IP address, and these IP addresses actually don't usually stay the same. So, for instance, my IP address today will probably not be my same IP address tomorrow because they're constantly being reassigned and whatnot, um, okay? So, what you need is you need a system, right, that can take a domain, right? So, for instance, Facebook.com, right? And then points that to the correct IP address based on like what time of day it is or for instance what country the person's in right mm -hmm. okay and the system that does this the system that takes people putting a domain name in and then finding what IP address to go to this is what's called a DNS okay this is a domain name system, and and really what it's called is usually is a DNS server. Is is you have more computers, more servers involved here, that handle people typing in Facebook.com and then routing that traffic to the correct IP address for the Facebook server they're trying to access. Damn. Yeah. So, what happened is like Facebook servers are not down. What's down is their DNS. So whoever they're using. This is yeah, I think this is called the star uh something. Star. Like the way that uh like what you just showed that it went from one place to another uh -huh. instead of someone else's or go through yeah. everybody's just to get to yours. Yes. I don't remember. What oh, 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 I think you're are you thinking also about Onion Networks or Tor? No. Okay. Because there's a cool thing. Have you guys heard of the dark web before? Uh, Star to topology, something like that. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe like network something. Have Have you guys heard of the dark net, for instance? Or the dark, dark the dark net, the dark web. Yeah. You heard about that before? <laughs> Place yes, we all know yeah. the dark. You go you online. Even access it. Uh, oh. Yeah, you can go buy lots of illegal things on the dark web type things. Yeah. So base. How do you even access it? Uh, so it's, yeah, it's, it's really it. easy actually. So you you have to you, you have to use what's called a Tor browser, okay? So like Onion, which is called technically Onion routing, okay? And I'll explain to you how Onion mm -hmm. routing. You put a, a Onion on your router, huh? <laughs> so no, not quite, not no quite. so here's what happens. So say say you're right here, right? And you're like, mm -hmm. cool. I want to. By, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's some weird hair. <laughs> or let's say, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like, what's a a, a legitimate use it use? <laughs> the problem is like everyone uses the dark web for illegal things. Like, what's a legitimate use of the dark web? Mm -hmm. Um, we're um, done. All right, let I I got it. Let Let's say you're in China, dude, and you want to buy a book on communism, a uh, buy a book on democracy or something. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you go to the dark one? I don't know because, dude, fucking China won't let you do it, dude. Like, I'm trying to think of, like, you know. Oh, right? I'm, I'm going to show you, like, why this works. So how an Onion router works or how, how a Tor browser works is you send out, you're like, I would like to go to book book.com or something, right? Instead of going directly to the IP address for book.com, book.com I don't know just like whatever website what happens is you have a bunch of what are called nodes these are these are uh character nodes yeah these are like nodes so what happens is usually usually right if you were going with the regular web 
This would just go to a DNS, right? And then the DNS would point you to book.com, right? However, in China, they have something which is called the Great Firewall, right? The Great Firewall of China, which they control the DNS in that they heavily filter wh what websites you're allowed to go to, right? So if you send a request for book.com and China says, like, no, dog, you don't get to buy any books on democracy, uh, y you'll just get blocked, right? How the dark web works is you send that request to a node, and then that node sends that request to a node, and that node sends the request to a node, and then that node finally sends the request oh, to book.com. Oh, it just com. goes past the firewall? Exactly. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what it does is it bounces the traffic between different nodes or between different computers mm -hmm. or what they call uh, different onion... Uh, someone's. I, I'm not as right. like knowledgeable right. on the technical details of this. Of what onion route and someone probably could explain this better. Um, but I you are a plasma. I am a I am a PhD in plasma PhD. physics, but plasma but yes, that is plasma physics. What is that plasma physics? Really cool. Dude, dude, really Malevac, he's cool. making me hydrate, dude. Um, <laughs> Joking, I don't even know what that is. About atoms, maybe. Plasma. Plasma's cool. Plasma is a a um, plasma is a uh, it's kind of like a liquidy gas. Actually, it's kind of a cool thing. Plasma. What is what is plasma? Do you guys want to know what plasma is? Because that is what I did my no, PhD. No, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm what is plasma? You study for Isn't it? plasma in like your blood too? Yeah, so that's two different types of plasma. of plasma. Yeah, good. There's two types of plasma. Where did Patrick come from? Ooh, Patty's here. What's up, Patty, um, dude? I kind of like sat on my phone and <laughs> <I> realized <laughs> office took a hours. Today and he didn't hey, it's it always good. Always good. Better, I better I don't life feel confident, ever. but you never know not good i felt really confident except for two questions but whatever okay all right so there's there's blood plasma and like what i call like science plasma or uh what the state of matter plasma that's the other one what's up sir good to have you back okay so blood plasma that has to do with i don't know some shit in your blood i'm not really a medicine biology person but it's uh Africans. i think it's like there's like red cell blood cells and like white red, blood cells red blood cells white blood cells but that's like yeah, but like plasma is like that stuff that's above your red blood cells when oh. you get your like your blood drawn. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, it's like, and I don't know, they need it for some shit. You Wait, don't. How do you not know this, Doctor Bold? Because, dude, I'm not in mm. medicine, bro. I'm not really a medicine person, dude. But your plasma. Ah, is see, but I don't deal with this plasma, dude. That's not my plasma. I deal with what we call the state of matter plasma. How many states plasma, of matter? Plasma. Plasma, plasma, plasma is technically a part, a kind of connective tissue. Ah, okay, <laughs> that's cool. I didn't know that. Okay, so Doesn't even know that. you got you got how many Would states of matter are there? Make a... Wait, what? How many states of matter are there? Three. Three. So technically there are four. Whoa. Technically four. Oh, yeah. Not, Blow not your fucking What's mind here, dude. One? The fourth one. Okay, so what are the three states of matter that you know? Gas, solid, liquid. Gas, solid. Oh, that's what you were asking. Also. Is it plasma the fourth Good. one? Plasma Wait. is the I fourth state of matter. Yeah, dude, if you want to like, you want to blow your teacher's brains, dude, just be like, yo, technically, teacher, yeah, there's four states of matter. Jill. What's up, Sor? Wasn't this a very first lesson that you taught? <laughs> this may have been honestly. This may have been one of the first lessons. I think that one of the first lessons. I remember talking about the three natures. Really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Sore. Sore, you're right. Sore's an OG. Sore's the first edition. He remembers some of the very first lessons I did. Yes, I did. I did do the states of matter at one point. But yes, plasma mm -hmm. is the fourth state of matter. Okay. Plasma is what I like to kind of call is like a liquidy gas. Okay. It's a liquidy gas <laughs> that conducts electricity. <laughs> oh wait, this gas. Oops. That's like my like simple, like. Um, wait, use for really? Yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell? Right, yeah. So, um, plasma is is technically um what we call an uh ionized gas. Do you know what ions are? Oh, you even know what ions are? Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta remember what ions are. Okay. So let let's say for instance I have a bunch of uh hydrogen gas. This is hydrogen gas, okay? Mm -hmm. So hydrogen a particle. Pardon? Isn't oh. it like a particle? Yeah, usually this is a this is a particle. Of, this is a hydrogen gas particle, right? It would be two hydrogens stuck together, right? It would be something like this. Mm -hmm. Right? This is the hydrogen, this is the hydrogen. They share like two electrons, okay? But then for instance, you could separate 
the electron the the hydrogens right so then you would have hydrogen in the center here with an electron just chilling outside and another hydrogen right have you what gone over this yet mean? philip have you gone over like electrons and protons and stuff this was eighth grade okay good well this is a proton yeah. uh, i don't even remember this from i mean i know we learned it in eighth grade but i just don't remember it yeah well you'll learn it again when you take chemistry you'll learn it again so Hydrogen, right, has a nucleus with a proton. Philip, I don't care that you're just in honors classes, kid. Oh, I'm talking about eighth grade. Like I took honors eighth grade. Damn, y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta, you gotta slap each other out, dude, on on the knowledge, dude. Yo, slap box, slap box tomorrow, Philip. Going to lunch, dude. What's that noise? What the fuck are they doing outside my place, dude? Next to the, next to the. Okay. Um, okay. So hydrogen usually has an electron attached to it, but there's something called H plus. Have you seen? Do you, have you ever? Do you know what H plus means, for instance? Hydrogen plus. You guys saw it. Positive atom. Atoms. This is a hydrogen ion. Okay. And what it means oh, by hydrogen yeah. ion is it's missing its electron. Right. Hydro oh, no. Yeah, so hydrogen Patrick. hydrogen usually chills right here and hydrogen's got a nice electron and they, you know, I know they watch fucking Netflix together and cook meals and HelloFresh, I don't know, fucking whatever. And um then what can happen is hydrogen can get hit with so much energy, right? Like or heat or I don't know, fucking fire or some shit, right? That this electron <laughs> no longer attaches to hydrogen and it runs off. Okay? So now what you get mm -hmm. is a bunch of H plus atoms with a bunch of electrons that are now free to like move wherever they want. Okay. Where's your source? Pardon? Where's your source? Like can you source everything, right? Cite your sources. <laughs> Cite my sources, dude. I don't know. Like MLA, this is this is, this, MLA this, format. This, is this is just real life is what this is. Yeah. So this is real. This is this is ionized hydrogen gas is what it is. Ionized hydrogen gas, okay? Which is really just what a plasma is, is, okay? It's gas that has so much energy in it that the electrons are free to move wherever the fuck they want. And because the electrons are free, electrons are what carry electricity, okay? Like, mm -hmm. electron, whenever you, electricity is just a flow of electrons is really all it is. So this is why plasma. Yeah, have you guys ever seen like the the plasma balls or something, right? Can you touch it and like and it comes to your hand? Yeah, right. There's uh, I don't know because your body conducts electricity. Yes, sir. Yeah, right. Sure, there's, Patrick, who's talking to you? There's like this. What right? if your body did not conduct? Hey, can we server you mute Patrick? No. Patrick's Fill on. Don't, don't. What the hell? What if we just server mute you? Yeah, let's, let's, let's just play. Let's play nice. Perma band. Let's play nice. Um. So yeah, that's 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 an example of like you have a very you have a very like a lot of electricity here, right? And then you have a lot of ionized gas here. And then what happens is when you touch this um for whatever reason, I actually actually don't know why it does that, but it it creates like these arcs. Um Abby Rogers gang. Who's Abby Rogers? Are you are you shouting at Patty's ex or something, dude? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> Abby Rogers gonna, gang. It was gonna be the girl that was gonna um, ask the homecoming. Oh, is homecoming this week for you guys or next week or something? Yeah, it's this, this, week. this week. Oh, nice. Every a lot of schools had theirs last week. Or yeah, this, were two weeks ago. Right? We're, we're behind. You want yeah, you want to know some behind. weird? Do you guys have, do you guys have mums and garters? Do you have those? What? No, right? You're like okay, dude. This is extreme. This is just a Texas thing. Okay, so can you guys see? You can see my screen, right? So. In Texas, if you want to ask like a chick out to fucking homecoming or something, you have to make her one of these things. What the hell is we just, that? We just make a sign and get them like flowers. Or yeah, something. no, no, no. This is a whole dude. This is a whole thing. Like it's this massive fucking. Uh, I don't know what you call it. It's called a mum, is what they call it. And then the guy gets a smaller thing called a garter that he puts on his, his um. On his arm. Nah, you should call that abomination. Abom dude, 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 some of these are ridiculous. Like, look at this shit. Like, what? And it becomes like a whole, like, who's got, like, the bigger fucking mum or garter contest, right? It's actually one of the weirder things that I didn't realize was only a Texas thing until uh, I went outside of Texas. And I was like, wait, you guys don't do this for homecoming? Yeah. Uh, 
So what is that? No, we don't. Okay, Speaking, we don't. Uh, I'm trying to think. There's maybe a picture of so like I I never had a homecoming date throughout all of high school. I I always just took my calculator oh. as my homecoming date. So oh. <laughs> one of one of the years I got nominated homecoming king actually because became which is what happened. It became kind of a funny joke. Um, so some girl in my class like made me a garter out of like a calculator or something as like a That's... because. If you, if, if, if you were if you were homecoming king or whatever, you had to go to the game, the homecoming game, right? The homecoming football game. And you had to walk with the, the homecoming queen. Homecoming queen at that point was the head cheerleader of my school. And so here was Geo the Nerd with <laughs> a garter made out of uh, calculators and other weird parts walking with uh, – she, she eventually became a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. But um, it was it was quite funny. It was a moment. It was a triumphant moment for my – my uh, my nerd friends and whatnot. Um, my uh, losing my virginity. Uh, sounds, like, <laughs> sounds like a W, honestly. It was, and honestly, exactly. the the reason I kind of won Homecoming King is because I kind of also had access to the voting system. So, but uh oh, <laughs> did you actually <laughs> just hack straight into that shit? <laughs> yeah, right this on. is why, dude. Be nice to nerds, dude. They control everything eventually. Mm. <laughs> Eventually. All right, cool. All right, that's uh, that's it for office hours. Thanks, guys, for joining. This was fun. I hope you learned something about plasma and whatnot. Um, yeah. Got help with your homework. Um, kind of not, but yeah. Be sure we're we're gonna uh, you guys. I want you guys to vote on like what game you guys want to to play this month. Um, I think it's between Warzone and Apex. Um, if you can think of another free to play cross platform game. That you guys want to like maybe put up for vote. I don't know what exists out there that's free to play but also cross platform. Yeah, me too. Maybe the next Halo when it comes out, but I don't think that'll be on PlayStation, right? Play gate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, what the hell is that? Oh, I love that Melo Zach. Okay, cool. All right, does anybody else have any last comments or whatnot? Anything they want to say? Oh, yes, no. I, I unless mean, you guess. you give us every everyone like Cold War or something. <laughs> no. Yo, Modern Warfare for PC is on sale though. It's fifty percent off if you guys want it. I think it's I think today's the last day. It's thirty bucks. Um, I got it for like thirty bucks. Yeah, so it's on it's on ago. it's on sale again. I'm tempted to just buy some gift copies, but I I don't know if there are many <laughs> people that play PC that don't have it yet. Um, yeah, I don't. But anyways, uh, next office hours will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So that's 5 p.m. for the Chicago boys and 6 p.m. for uh, you East Coast folks or um, East Coast folks. East Coast folks. If you guys want to come play uh, Warzone, I'm gonna be I'm gonna play some for the next hour. I'll be in the the recess channel. Um, so feel free yeah, to join. I'm, I'm gonna join. You know, we yeah. gotta get some dubs. There you go. There's mechanical, dude. What's up, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's. Look. I'll be in the recess channel. I'll be streaming if you guys want. If you guys wanna, I won't stream it on the Twitch, but I'll I'll be streaming on the, uh, the Discord. Um, hey, y'all, pay for a little. Where you going? Yeah, go, come come to the recess chat, and then we'll play there. Thanks bro, everyone for the joining the Twitch. We'll see you tomorrow, time. dude. Peace.